Well, Lohan, good morning. It is 8.30. Welcome back to Take Two. Time to break down the top stories of the day. The first flights from Kona's airport are arriving in Honolulu. That's after a closure of the airport last night due to some cracks in the runway that have since been repaired. Chris Latronic is live at Daniel K. Inouye International Airport this morning. Chris, you've talked to some passengers today. A lot of delays for them, but they have been pretty patient so far. Yes, they have, and some of them staying overnight from yesterday, and we actually just talked to an older man who was uh, kind of really angry about it and just saw how uh, he didn't really uh, get uh, get really where he's going, but he did just get into the line, he did just get his ticket, and he did just check in. So there is light at the end of the tunnel for a lot of people that have been dealing with these delays. Also, a student over at UH Hilo is coming from Los Angeles. She was just about to land in Kona when they got, uh, they had to be rerouted over to here, Honolulu International Airport. She's still waiting to be transferred from her Delta flight that could be happening later tonight unless she gets a transfer over to Hawaiian Airlines or a different uh, carrier a little bit later. We also uh, talked to some local boys who uh, were kind of oblivious to uh, the fact that uh, things were closed yesterday, but things didn't change too much for their flights, just maybe delayed about 20 minutes. So it uh, looks like things are actually getting a little bit better too. As you can see the board, only one delayed flight right now with other ones kind of getting back to normal as well as a lot of uh, travelers just uh, uh, getting remedied from the delays from yesterday. So things are getting better, uh, but especially with the, the reopening of the Kona, uh, the uh, Ellison Onizuka Kona International Airport runway, which had uh, lots of big potholes. They still have some more repairs to be done, but luckily that's going to be done overnight tonight uh, during uh, non-flight hours, and that's not going to affect uh, flights for tomorrow morning. But we did talk with uh, the head of the uh, DOT at Sniffin, and he does have some advice for people coming to the airport for flights today. Um, everybody should understand that if you had a a reservation for a flight yesterday or today, um, and you're you're scheduled to fly out today, you should call your carrier to confirm your time frame um, because there's going to be delays like this where crews are an issue or where uh, planes that were diverted to other airlines are an issue. So yes, great advice from Ed Sniffin. So make sure you check in early, call your airline to make sure the timetable is right. And uh, just to share that aloha, there are a lot of people still going through delays. We'll have more information on our website at khun2.com, so go check that out. This is Chris Latronic working for Hawaii right here at the check-in area of Hawaiian Airlines at the Daniel K. Noe International Airport. Sending things back to you. All right, Chris, thanks for that live update.